going to the mount. Not always easy as you think, and it's not as hard as people make it out to be. A lot of times in matches, you always see when people step over the mount, they get lazy, the leg comes over, and people escape, and they get that half guard. Remember, when you go to the mount, you need to have in mind that the person on bottom is trying to escape. They don't want you to get that mount. So you need to make sure that everything you do is nice and tight and not just a loose step over or just kind of brushing your knee across and just getting to the mount. Because in the good guys, they're not going to let you get that space you need to just go over it. Or the space you give them, they're going to take advantage of and escape. Now with JT on his back, I'm going to go over just a nice, easy, a basic step over mount. Probably the most commonly used one and still my most used one today. One hand under the head, one hand by the hip. Now, if they have a gi on, you can grab the gi material and keep a nice tight grip on the shoulder. And if not, you can just hold on nice and tight or you don't have to grab the gi at all. Now, with my hand being by the hip, what I want to do is do the first step is called where I say step one is run. That's where you switch your hips. Right now, left knee's in the armpit, right knee's by the hip. When I run and I switch, I drop my hip down and I bring my left knee to his hip and I bring my right knee back to here. Now, you, I'll show you this from another angle so you can see this side, but just, just watch for a little bit. Now, my knee's in the hip. I'm still base down just like this. My foot's back here for base. Now, people might wonder, what's keeping them from just bumping you over? Remember, you need to keep that chin turned. I don't like JT looking at me so much when I'm doing jujitsu to him. So I want to make sure that he's looking that way. I don't want him to see my, all my secrets. So I want to go here and I turn his head. Remember, keep that nice tight pressure. When I switch, I don't switch and just fall down. I turn my hip and I keep good tight base. My knee pushing into his hip. Now from here, step two, I grab the knee. I just want to cover it. Don't keep your arm locked just in case this knee comes up and hits your elbow. What you want to do is just keep your hand there to block. You want to keep him from bringing his leg up. Your other elbow is kind of down towards the thigh. That way if he tries to bring his legs up, now both are stopped. Step three, you want to step over. But when you step over, you want to step over your own hand as well. Your foot comes over and the heel pinches. I don't just step like this and be loose or go all the way over like that. I step over and I pinch his hip with my heel. So now my, my left knee and my right heel are pinching together, blocking his hip. After step three, I'm going to remove this hand. As this foot goes down and my knee comes into his armpit, my left knee is going to slide up to his armpit, closing off that gap. So once I'm here and I move the hand, I can catch his elbow, slide up, and bring both knees up, and then base. Let's try it again from another angle. Here, hand under the head, turning the jaw, hand by the hip. I switch. Notice how my foot's back here for base. My other knee's nice and tight in the hip. I block, elbow kind of down, I step over and I pinch. Now watch, at the same time this knee comes down, this knee slides up. Because I can't leave this leg just out with space because that's all kind of room for him to escape. It all has to stay tight. And I get my base.